money is power people with money have the ability to do things and if you are someone who don't have money on the pursuit of somebody with money you have to have wisdom in that movement you can end up very hurt you can end up possibly dead god forbid i need you to be safe black women that's the most level up thing you can do is be safe Benaki, my loves, Benaki. Hi, it's Queenie Urbane, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you join the fam. If not, it's whatever. So today, are we going to be talking about to why you should fall in love with his character and not just his status or his image? So let's talk about it. Why? Why am I saying this? We all have heard stories in the past of somebody who, you know, a great status, um, a, a great example could even be um, like celebrities, really. Um, these people of great status, lots of wealth, um, just a, a really big image in not only just the media, but in life in general. Um, and these people, despite them having all this accumulated intangible things, I mean, tangible things, their character is out of control like they are rude they are nasty they are mean and sometimes they can be downright abusive um to the people in social circles that they're in this is common all the time a huge example of this in the black community as of right now recently was meg the stallion and tory lanes those are two people of high status especially tory lanes high status um major artists and this and Meg Megan was still dealing with him because they were equally yoked in terms of their fame and you know rise in their social circles and that same man who is supposedly dating or dealing with this girl decides to shoot her in the foot right someone that you love and trust and you thought you can be yourself be comfortable feel safe around them had the capability that's what at least what meg was thinking the situation showed that he had the capability of hurting her to a point of no return and almost injuring her if anything he could have killed her and if you've seen fatal attraction or any tv show where you know lovers have killed each other or caused each other great harm you know that character needs to be paid attention more than just status i know with the level up journey we are you know trying to build up wealth build up a different lifestyle build up life satisfaction and to some people life satisfaction is equal to the amount of dollars their partner has or the amount of things they can afford but i'm here to tell you today that you need to pay attention to his character way before you invest yourself fully in that person and not just his status a lot of like other you know feminine channels a lot of them are talking to black women specifically because that's their audience on polygamy on just dating um someone of higher status finding a man of means being taken care of hell i even made a video saying we need to find provider husbands and not just sugar daddies but I really need you to pay attention to his character too you know and when I say pay attention to his character what do I mean by that character means literally just who is that person without the money you know because if you are money just makes you more of whoever you are naturally so if you are a naturally evil person you will just be an evil person with a lot of money who can do a lot more evil things if you are a naturally generous person you will just be a generous person with a lot of money who gives away a lot of money right but let's remove the money aspect and pay attention to this person's character are they do they tell the truth do they have integrity do they have morals do they care about certain things are they passionate are they ambitious are they lazy are they a hard worker pay attention to the characters that make the human and not just the status because any human with the right formula of character will naturally accumulate wealth or be a person of high value um, throughout their life, 
even if they don't have it today. Now, I'm, that's not me telling you, like, go date somebody who's bad, poor, and just hope for the best, because no, money, once again, heightens whatever character somebody has. Um, but that's why it's so important to pay attention to it now, why that person is either less in status, or if they are in their status, you need to watch them even more. Don't make it so obvious that you are in this for the money, or that you're in this for the lifestyle um, increase, or for certain things, because people feed off of that. Everyone knows, anyone with money knows that people who don't have money are going to swarm to them, naturally. And a person, once again, who has evil intentions or bad intentions or just lack morality will capitalize or try to use that in their benefit in some way, whether it's through abuse, whether it's through manipulation, or whether it's through just flat out using you, you know? And I really just need you, black women, to pay attention to a man's character, and not just his status, not only his status, his character, who he is as a person. Look at him. Pay attention to how he treats you, you know, and pay attention to how he treats others um, because people mess up. So I am not here to say that, oh, um, if y'all get into arguments a lot or sometimes y'all have been fighting, you know, depending on how long y'all have been together, that may be a red flag. But sometimes you have to really understand that people come from different households, different cultures, different backgrounds, especially if you have different ages and stuff like that or different races. So what's normal to you might literally not be normal to them and vice versa. So you guys also have to teach each other how to deal with each other, which I think is done through setting the tone and maybe you should have did that then, but in case you didn't, um, as you progress and argue and, and just debate or live and interact with somebody, you will naturally start to teach them how to treat you, right? You are gonna start to clash heads because that's just natural. There is no relationship in this world that will never ever have a fight. But what you need to pay attention, black woman, is what is his maturity rate after the fight? That's a big indicator of character, okay? Because people fight all the time. A fight will happen naturally. And let me not even just say a fight, but bicker, argue. Just just confrontation. That's natural in any relationship at some point. But what is the maturity afterwards? Are they using this argument now to like, you got them upset, so let me like form this master plan of manipulation and play mind games with this person because how dare they even challenge me? You know, there's people like that. And then there's people that's, you know, we got into this fight. I hate that but I want us to work. I really care about this person. So I'm gonna try my best and through kind, do kind things, do certain things to try to fix this relationship. You know, maybe drop their ego, maybe sit down and just have an effective talk with you, a stern talk that's firm in their belief, but they decided to talk to you and just be, a, just be an effective communicator. Things of, that show, things of that sort shows you a person's character. That's honestly, in my opinion, one of the biggest indicator of a person's character is how do they treat you after you fought that person, after you've debated with them. And you can take that advice not only with dating and polygamy and relationships, but take that with, you know, your friends, even your family, because that will show you the level of toxicity that person has towards you. Because trust me personally, if I don't care about somebody, I'm not going to go out my way to fix or resolve the issue. I'm going to just leave it alone and walk away and continue on with my life. Um, and I know if that's my response to certain things, I know that's going to be responses of other people who don't really care about stuff. That's, that's natural, right? But the things I do care about, the things that I'm like, no, wait, I really want to dedicate more time to this. I really want to be with this longer. I really just care about this. I'm going to be more focused and have more of a mindset to try to fix whatever just happened. And little things like that. I know I'm a woman, so you might be like, oh, um, you know men aren't like that but I have a partner and he does that all the time you know and that's the part I pay attention to before anything else is how do you react after we've had the, the argument because a lot of people hold resent in their heart and if this is a person of higher status and image and just value in society you know they know how high of value they are a lot of times they are very self-aware if anything the most um people that be in those positions are narcissists and you know people that have like a super inflated image of their self that they've able to manifest their life to match um which is okay i mean narcissism is not okay but just the inflated self-image sometimes you need that to get to where you need to be um but you need to pay attention to how this person responds to 
your your debates with them, your fights with them, or even just in general the interaction that you have with them because that's showing you their character. You can get a glimpse of somebody's characters quickly. You don't have to wait. You know, a lot of times my mom used to tell me that it takes a person two years to reveal their, their real self, but I honestly believe it takes long, shorter than that. I think it takes less than six months for a person to start to show you the real you, especially if you spend consistent time with that person. Um, so you get glimpses of who the person is through your interactions with them but you have to pay attention to the things they say how they function and even the stories that they have sometimes you know because that shows you like how what their heart is where their heart is and through that you make the decision of if you want to pursue this relationship longer like you know I'm all for the level up but I'm also all here for building up yourself morally and building up yourself safely and confidently and not devaluing yourself on the pursuit of looking for more value like that is literally hypocrisy and I know a lot of people don't mind that or will promote less integrity in terms of trying to level up but it doesn't have to be an immoral process it doesn't have to be a process where you lose yourself so that's what I'm here for um, I don't know about other channels but I want you to have discernment you know if you are religious pray on it if you're not I don't really know what to tell you but maybe just pay attention and <laughs> just be attentive and do your research um, but fall in love with his character and not his status and his image I mean care about his status and his image because you are on a level up journey <laughs> so you do not want to be unequally yoked with somebody who is um, just has the potential to bring you down because that is just you know counterproductive to what is your intentions in life but make sure absolutely to pay attention to his character before you invest your heart into anything before you invest your family into anything before you invest your friends even into the situation you know pay attention to the person um use your eyes it's so important the Meg the Stallion situation I know it was like a few weeks ago now but like that really should have woken up woke up a lot of our eyes about how black women are treated by not only just black men but like men of means as well people of power people of privilege um we are not afforded certain luxuries so we cannot play oblivious and dumb to certain things or just think that certain things won't apply to us at some point in life if you see someone who equally is rich and famous like Meg Thee Stallion who has the resources, the abilities, and capability of getting someone who she loved, who hurt her, who hurt her, to send them to jail or do something back to them, and she chose not to based off of her positionality and her identity, and that person's identity too. Imagine what would happen to you, a person without any means, on the pursuit, dealing with somebody of means, and their capability. We're not excluded from any of this. Do not be dumb. This was this this status was a little bit more like serious, but I just really need y'all to use y'all brains and do not go blind, deaf, and dumb over the pursuit of the level up. Do it and be smart and be careful please my loves thank you all so 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 much for watching if you like this type of content thumbs it up subscribe if you would like you know to hear more of me hear more of my opinion I'm always going to talk about issues in the black woman community because I love us um, and especially in regards of relationship level up femininity and knowing your goddamn rights <laughs> i care about you i want the best for you but i want you to move smartly i am not seeing enough of these black women i don't know femininity influencers talk about the fact that the pursuit of level up the pursuit of status can get a lot of women hurt if they don't pay attention to character and beg or ask or need or act like they don't need discernment you need to 
the money is not everything the money is a great part of it but your integrity your life is more important than certain things and money is power people with money have the ability to do things and if you are someone who don't have money on the pursuit of somebody with money you have to have wisdom in that movement you can end up very hurt you can end up possibly dead god forbid i need you to be safe black women that's the most level up thing you can do is be safe okay thank you all so much for watching all right. i just went in but yeah love y'all bye